The COVID-19 vaccine mandate means that non-vaccinated students, faculty, and staff will be unable to return to the university for the spring semester. For some students, this will determine if they transfer universities or not. And for others, like seniors, this decision will determine if they get to graduate on time. The Claflin University cheer team recently welcomed 10 new members to the team. And for some, this year's homecoming will be their first time cheering as an HBCU Stop and Shake cheerleader. Right now, 5.3% of physician assistants are Black. With Claflin University being a historically Black college, this program seeks to introduce more underrepresented minority undergraduates to the career path. To kick off this year's homecoming, students from across Claflin University's campus joined together for the Crocs and Christ worship service hosted by Dream Gospel Choir. In previous years, Claflin's annual homecoming worship experience welcomed well-known gospel artists to lead this service, but this year, things are slightly different. The Crocs and Christ worship service was about creating an environment where students across the campus can join together in a comfortable atmosphere and with comfortable shoes to worship the Lord. I wanted students to gain a sense of encouragement today. Uh, I know the situations and the different uh, areas of college that can be hard, that they're stronger than they realize. Just to give them some more encouragement and inspiration to finish the semester strong. And not only that, but uh, in their life, uh, whatever they may be facing or dealing with, that they are stronger than they realize. Uh, you know, your success is not what you're here for, but it's those failures that teach you those things that success will never understand. That God has placed the might and he has placed the strength inside of you uh, to live life. We wanted the student body to really re realize that God is able um, and remind them that he's still our com their comforter um, because, you know, when we're, we're in college, it gets tough. So we want to remind our students that he's able, that he, he's still a keeper. While adjusting to the new normal, Claflin students are embracing the opportunity to fellowship once again. Homecoming is a time really for us to come together and fellowship with everybody from, you know, times past. So being able to come together at the beginning of this week together to worship God and, and you know, and fellowship together with the experience. The Crocs and Christ worship experience kicked off a week full of events at Claflin University for their 2021 homecoming. To learn more information about scheduled homecoming events, visit www.claflin.edu. Before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, large gatherings were a regular occurrence on Claflin University's campus. But this semester, things have been a little different. Um, as a member of Student Activity Board, we have to limit capacities due to students not being vaccinated, students being vaccinated. This past semester, Claflin University administration notified students that there will be a mandatory vaccine mandate going into effect for the spring 2022 semester. Well, at first, the um Vaccine, vaccine mandate was not something that we were striving for. We wanted students to feel self-empowered and be vaccinated for themselves, which is why we pushed multiple campaigns. We had to top trotty shirts and via social media. But since students didn't get vaccinated, we were hitting, looking to hit 80%, but we're somewhere around 60 right now in order for next semester for us to have a more open campus experience as far as more meltdowns, more campus events, for Res Life to be able to open up visitation. The vaccine mandate is like the best way that we see fit now. The administration sees fit to move forward into next semester. Um, so I think that it, it's an opportunity for us to have um, a more closer, um, intimate um, events and stuff as students, um, and not really necessarily have to worry about whether students are vaccinated or unvaccinated when the whole campus just uh, is vaccinated. The COVID-19 vaccine mandate means that non-vaccinated students, faculty, and staff will be unable to return to the university for the spring semester. For some students, this will determine if they transfer universities or not. And for others, like seniors, this decision will determine if they get to graduate on time. They sent out an email saying that all students have to be uh, um, fully vaccinated in order to return back in the spring. So right now I put in a religious exam that I'm waiting to get approved. And if it doesn't get approved, I'm going to have to get the vaccine, which goes against my beliefs, uh, my family beliefs. For this semester, only students who are vaccinated are eligible to attend on-campus events, including all homecoming events scheduled from November 14th through the 20th. For CU NBCU News, I'm Daya Fogel. Normally, this is what you will see at an HBCU basketball game. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot has changed. 
For the Claflin University cheer team, this basketball season is something special. It's the first time in over a year they will get to return to the courts and do what they love. Okay, well, since COVID hit, I would say going to my sophomore year, we didn't even have a team. Um, and one of the things that was a drive for me was to come back was cheer. Since we didn't have it, I did not come back my sophomore year. However, now I'm back my junior year. Um, there were some complications. There were some slow movings. However, we're back on campus and the crew is back together. So now we only have two returners. And so now we're just kind of working from scratch to get them to understand what it is to be a CIAA cheerleader and what we're expecting and looking for. The Claflin University cheer team recently welcomed 10 new members to the team. And for some, this year's homecoming will be their first time cheering as an HBCU Stop and Shake cheerleader. Coming in, I didn't know we would have a cheer team, but I'm very excited that we are. And at this moment, we're practicing and preparing for homecoming, which I'm super excited to be attending my first HBCU homecoming as a freshman. And we're also preparing for the CIAA, which I'm very excited to be attending. Honestly, what I'm looking forward to the most is really just getting back cheering. I really miss it overall, but I'm really looking forward to us going to Baltimore for the um, CIAA tournament. For now, the Claflin University cheer team embraces the opportunity to bond together while they prepare for the upcoming basketball season. For CUNBCU News, I'm Daia Fogel.